Welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about one more program in Python that is how to convert the decimal value to the binary value. So we know all about uh, what is a decimal value, what is a binary value. Okay. So we know the binary representation means the representation with the help of uh, ones and zeros. So if you want to represent some 5, it should be represented in a binary value that is 101, one, which is nothing but a binary equivalent of given decimal value. So this is called a decimal and this is a binary. Right. So we will see the program how to convert this uh, decimal to binary. Right. We know the procedure to convert this decimal to binary. So if you take the decimal, we have to divide this number with a 2 so that so consider the rem reminder right so two two times are four and the reminder is one and again continue the same process that means again divide that per given result with a two so two ones are two it is zero and we have to consider from lower to upper so that means one zero one so this is a binary equivalent the same way we have to repeat the number for example if you consider n n value as a 5 right so first we need to divide that so n mod 5 because in order to get the reminder we need to use the mod so n mod 2 sorry n mod 2 and the reminder the reminder will be getting and that reminder will be appended to the list we'll append that to list one we'll take one list and we'll append that particular uh, reminders with one list after that we have to get the number right we, we have to reduce the number that means whatever the quotient we are getting so we have to take the quotient so simply you can simply divide that one with a 2 so that we'll get the quotient right so repeat the same process repeat the same process until n not equal to 0 we have to repeat the same process until n not equal to 0 that means so now n value is 2 again we have to repeat the same n mod 2 is equal to how much reminder okay so we have to store the reminder into a list and we will just reverse that list so that we'll get the same result so don't worry if still you are having any doubts uh, all doubts will be clarified once you write the program so first let us take one number we'll read the number n is equal to sorry int of input enter number to convert it into a decimal right so after conversion of n so we have to store the reminders in a list right so i'll take one list so list is equal to list function so it will give the empty list and we have to repeat the process until n not equal to 0 until n not equal to 0 first we have to find out the reminder n mod 2 and we have to append that one so r uh, sorry l dot append of r l dot append of r now we have to reduce that one n is equal to n floor division of 2 and simply if you observe this one if you want if you if you give five as a number you will get see one zero one that's a normal order right see if it is a six zero one one but the binary equivalent for this six is one one zero one one zero so we need to reverse that list so before printing that one simply a list is having a reverse function so it will reverse all the elements of the thing so if you observe now we we'll get 110 right hope you understood the reminders all these are all the reminders right now instead of printing the list we will print for uh, element in l simply print the element with end of op end operation so if you go with 6 we will get 110 so if you give a 15 we will get four ones if you give 10 
see 10 binary equivalent is 1010 so very simple logic so we need to find the remainder when you divide that uh, value with a 2 and store all the reminders into a list and reduce the number right so by floor division of 2 we have to reduce the number and we have to repeat the same process until the n value not equal to 0 and after completion of while loop that means whenever the n value becomes 0 now just reverse all the elements of a list because we need to consider the elements from top to bottom sorry bottom to top so after finding the reminders we have to consider the we have to arrange the bits or arrange the reminders from bottom to top so that's why we are just reversing that one a list is having the reverse function so we will reverse that function and simply we will print all the elements by using one iterative statement that is a for loop and using the end operator i mean end attribute so by using the end attribute the next outputs will also be appended to the current output so all the elements will be printed in this way so in the absence of end see if you give some 10 you will get each and every reminder in a new line right 1010 so if you use the thing end is equal to so simply if you give 12 so we'll get everything in a same line 1101 that means this is a binary equivalent so in this way we can find the binary equivalent of any decimal number so if you give some 100 we'll get the binary equivalent of 100 right for any number we can get the binary equivalent right so hope you understood this one simple logic and if you are having any doubts regarding this conversion feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much